Uh, we had a great week of practice, um, you know, obviously video, and uh, but we're very familiar with each other. Uh, we know what they want to do. I mean, let's face it, they're a big, strong team. They run the ball, and uh, they're going to try to control the game that way. Um, we have to, our offense is going to have to move and score tonight and um, keep the, because if, if we have the ball, they don't. So um, that's our goal. I mean, we have to slow down their running game and make them earn every every uh, yard and, and not give up big plays. Um, hopefully make, you know, cause a couple of turnovers and, and you know, get some momentum that way. And uh, on offense, we need to execute, not make the mistakes that we've made to hurt ourselves. When we look at film, you know, uh, especially offensively, it's more what our mistakes that have stopped us as much as anything. So when we execute, um, we move the ball and we score. Yeah, Tsunami, Resendi is not with us. Um, we've really missed Donovan Monroe, who you guys haven't got to see this year, yeah. who... Um, with him, we have a tight end and, a, and an H back and a whole diff another package that we never got to this year. Not to mention a defensive end that's being recruited by Division One schools. So, you know, we've been cursed by that that bug of, of key players going down, and um, we really miss Donovan. But uh, other than that, we're 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 ready to go. Number eight, Darren. Kester. Number 55, Joshua Josiah Cora. For Zavarian, number six, Carlo Cassetti. Number 42, Joey Kelcourt. And number 79, Jack Funk. Brockton will receive the opening kickoff. Our great nation has preserved through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We thank you for your service to our country. As we head into this Veterans Day week, at this time we ask you to please rise and turn toward the scoreboard end of the field for our national anthem. Our flag at this stadium flies in memory of Sergeant Adam Kennedy, the very class of 2000, and all those who have given their lives in service to this country. The national anthem tonight will be sung by Zavarian senior Joe Cucinata. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed and the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight On the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting Say does that 
star-spangled banner and wave of the land of the free and the whole Hi everybody, welcome to the Hawk, it's Hawks Bowl. Finally got that right, I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Mike the Postman Simmons and we have a Brockton Community Access TV Sports Spectacular as we give you the first round of the 2021 Division I football playoffs as the boxers have come up to Westwood to play the number one seed, the Severian Hawks. Should be a fantastic game, Brockton won the toss and will receive. Back to receive for the boxers, like they've been doing all year, number 20 is Malik Johnson. And they might have switched it up, I mean, oh, they're gonna go with Michael Victor, number three, right around their own 10 yard line. And getting ready to kick off, Fall the Hawks is number five, Oliver Waldenton. All right, so the Hawks will have an off balance set up here with the special teams. Five, Here's Waldenton's kick, and we're underway in the playoffs. Kicks taken at their own 15. Stutter steps, get to the outside. He does, all still on his feet. Down the sideline, makes a turn. He's still on his feet and finally tackled all the way down to the Severian 24. What a way for the Hawks and Michael Victor to start it for Brockton. That ball is returned by number three, Michael Victor. It'll be first and 10 for the boxers. See where they marked that ball. I hit him down around the 23. They're going to mark that as 24. So here's the first offensive possession for the boxers. It'll be Winuti. Looks like he has Paul with him. He does two is right out of the pistol. Puts a man in motion. That's Montero, straight drop back, throw to Montero in the flats, trying to get by, takes the corner, still on his feet and turns and tossed. Or a big tackle. Four, Looks like they're gonna mark it. It's gonna be about a six yard pickup for the boxers. So that off balance kickoff return ended up hurting Severian, but right now we'll see how the boxers do on Second and four. Powell again Second in the pistol five. with one Udi. Three receivers to his right, actually two in a, in a slot back. To give to Powell right off the left tackle on his feet and that's good enough for a boxer first down. Number 15, Mauricio Powell with the carry. Tackle made by number 33, Aiden Lovelace. First and 10 for the boxers, just underway here from Westwood, Massachusetts, here at the Severian Brothers High School Complex. Same formation again for the boxers. Powell, next to Winuti, out of the pistol. Puts a man in motion, that's Montero. Fake to Montero. Wanuda's gonna try to take the corner, use his speed, cutting up, taking, cutting in and diving forward, and he is in for the touchdown, touchdown boxers. Touchdown scored by number one quarterback, Jason Wanodi. Jason Wanodi on the keeper, and the boxers take a quick six-nothing lead. Here we go for the point after try. John Dumas kick up and it's blocked. And they're all over the kicker. Let's the extra point is no good. 
We march up field. Your score, Brockton six. Severian nothing. Oh, let's look at that replay on that touchdown by Wanuti. All right, it's gonna see, let's see how the Brockton defense, everyone knows in the state the Severian Hawks have probably one of the most explosive high school offenses. Back to receive for the Hawks. We'll give you those gentlemen's name in about two seconds. There's the kick, a little high end over kick. They take it, oh, miss bounce. Initially taking it to 25, trying to free an open seam on the return. Nice return by Jonathan Montero. All right, folks, so here's our first look at the Severian Hawks offense. A big return over, over 15 yards. Looks like they'll mark it right at their own 47 yard line. And they're going to go eye formation, Gilbert, Gil, Gilbert under center. First and 10. Straight drop back, looks, timing play. Oh, intended for number six. Good coverage by, it looks like that was for Corsetti. That'll bring up second and 10. Had a great interview earlier with Coach Colombo prior to kickoff. They go I formation again. Gilbert under center again, I formation. This time they give to the big tail box, trying to go off tackle, cuts back in. Nicely read by Brockton. And Joe. Carried by number 42, Joey Calcourt. Joe Kelkos on the carry for the Hawks. Bring up third and about five. Maybe close more, yeah, third and about five at the Brockton 48. This time they get two receivers. Two, third Gilbert on the center, I formation again. Time on the option, gets it to the outside, trying to take the corner, he does, and hit out of bounds as Kelkos. See where they mark it, it's more than enough for a Hawks first down. He picked, needed six, he needed five, he picked up seven. In the Brockton territory, looks like they're gonna mark him right around the Brockton 47. 9.20 left and running here in this first quarter. Six, as you can see on your screen, six nothing boxers. Gilbert again in the center, I formation. Straight drop back, looks. Incomplete, great job by the Brockton Boxers on that coverage. That was intended for Jonathan Montero. Bring up second and 10. I formation, same formation for the Hawks here on second and 10 at the Brockton 47. And now to give to the big fullback, drive, oh, fumble on the play! And it is recovered by the boxers. That loose ball was recovered by Brockton number 52, Lorenzo Santos. Santos on the, on the recovery, and the boxers will take over first and 10. At their own 34. All right, let's see what the boxers throw at them. Everyone knows in the, in the state they go no huddle. And they do it very well. Looks like the back, it's gonna be Barnes this time to the right out of the pistol. Puts him in a motion, Montero, away from the play. Straight drop back is Winuti. Fires downfield, he has a receiver down, there it is! Caught! All the way down to the Severian 21 yard line. Winuti's pass was complete to number 10, Christensen Paul. 
Paul on the reception for the boxers. It'll be first and 10 for the boxers, officially marked at the Hawks 22. All right, here we go, same, looks like they're gonna go same formation again. Two slots, two receivers, out of the pistol, and, and Barnes is in the, to the right of Winuti. Winuti, he tripped, oh, he couldn't get his traction. And a loss of about three. This time the boxes will huddle, up, huddle, up, huddle it up, excuse me. 8.31 and running. We'll make it second down and 13 for the boxers. All right, let's see what they go. Chilly night nice. started off kickoff about 39 degrees. Mike the Postman Simmons, he's ready for Antarctic weather right now. All right, this time it looks like Barnes is to the left. Same formation again for the boxer. Straight drop back, when he firing a screen. Oh, almost blew that play wide open. Lovelace broke that up. Tried to set up for a little slip screen. Winuti couldn't put enough on it to get over the big lineman's head, his hands. Here on third and 12. Barnes again, this time they're gonna have two receivers, a slot to the left as you can see. Winuti has Barnes with him out of the pistol. It looks like they're going to have offsides. It might be against the Hawks. Let's see as they, they're going to call false start. Illegal procedure on Brockton. Barnes did move his right foot, and the defensive end was going off that motion. We'll make it third down and 18. So third and 18, just under eight minutes left to play here in the first quarter. All right, they're playing National Federation rules as far as uh, the play clock goes as well. This time they go with two slots, as you can see, and two receivers. Barnes in the backfield with Winuti. Here on third and long. Looking, firing, incomplete. Bring up fourth down. Pressure was applied there by number 36, Mike Gardner. Ball marked officially on the Hawks 29. So let's see how the boxers go on fourth down. All right, they break the huddle. Looks like Barnes is gonna be to the left. They get same formation before on third down. Montero in motion. Winuti looks over the defense. They're bringing it. Straight drop back. He's in trouble. Winuti trying to get avoid some trouble. Fires it downfield, and it is. Broke it up. They're on fourth down. They brought the house. Winuti did everything he could to get out of trouble. Good defense held by the Hawks on that possession. So this is our second offensive possession we'll see by the Hawks. Gilbert on the center, eye formation again. Straight drop back, looks. Fires down, and that is complete to number 14. 
Gain of about eight. Great coverage by the boxes. Montero on the reception. A gain of about eight. Bring up second and two. Approaching seven minutes left in this first quarter here in Westwood. Gilbert again, same formation, looks over the Brockton defense. Throws it out to the flats, complete to Montero. Montero takes the corner. He has enough for a Hawks first down. All the way up, it looks like the market around his own 43. He was tackled first by number four, Cameron Montero. So Montero catches it, and Montero takes him down. All right, first and 10 from their own 48 is the official, excuse me, 43. High formation again, Gilbert on the option. And it looks like they fumble the ball again. Let's see who recovers the ball. It could be another Brockton ball. Let's see what the officials there, they're, they're uh, getting together, gonna see what they have. Gonna talk to the officials. There was a loose ball on the play. They're gonna say it's second down. It remains variant ball. So it stays variant ball here on second and about seven for the Hawks. Ball marked all the way up to their own 46. Very cold night, 39 degrees when we started this kickoff. On kickoff, excuse me. Little turn around to the halfback, trying to go up tackle, he does. Kalkos, he runs up, and he's into Brockton territory. And that's good enough for a Hawks first down. Little right off tackle play off the right tackle. Pulling that guard. So first and 10. Gilbert again. Same formation. The big running back, Calcourse in the backfield. They give to Calcourse like a little trap play up the middle and he picks up a good seven yards, possibly eight. Down to the Brockton, 38. Approaching five minutes left in this qu first quarter. I formation again. This time they have the fullback a little bit off. So they're offset eye. They put a man in motion, the pitch to the big guy trying to take the corner, number four trying to cut in. Cut and still on his feet. Great job by Oates. Oates on a big run and another first down for the Hawks. Ball marked right around the Brockton 23. Now they go back to the I formation. Oates now the tailback. They give to Oates. Slips off one tackle, slips off another tackle, trying to get around the edge, and finally taken down. He broke two tackles until Cameron Montero took him down on that play. Oates bouncing off two Brockton defenders, bring up second about seven. All right, the big fullback is in it too, that's Jetty. Straight drop back, looking, rolling left, in trouble. 
Thinking about running it for the first down and Montero takes him out. Let's see where they mark him. He's gonna be short. Looks like around the 16 yard line. Jake Gilbert elected to keep that ball, gaining a few yards. Third down and three. 3.37 officially left here in the first quarter. Everyone's, everyone's speechless. Brockton scored first. But not to this commentator. Eye formation again. You can hear the Brockton faithful in the background. Gilbert. Faking. Rolling right. Trying, thinking about trying to score. He's going to have the end zone. Jake Gilbert from 16 yards out. And the Hawks are on the board at the 329 mark. So they set up for the point after try. Here we go, Waddleton for the point after try. So he has to snap the ball up to kick, and it is good. You march up field, 329 left, and Severian has a 7 6 lead. And let's go take a look at that replay earlier by Gilbert's uh, keeper, quarterback keeper, from 16 yards out. All right, Brockton started this game with a big, big return. Let's see if they can do it again, get themselves in excellent field position. The temperature has definitely fallen, folks. Okay, so the Hawks will go with their offset line on the kickoff. As you can see, here's one of them's kick, squib kick. Taken at their own 27 up the middle. Nice return again for the boxers. And on that return, get you that gentleman's number in a minute. And I apologize, I don't know, see, I do not have a zero on my roster. Actually 37 degrees right now here in Westwood. All right, Winodi, this time Powell in the game. Their third offensive possession in this first half and in this first quarter. They give to Powell. He lost the ball. He got stripped. Severian ball. And the Hawks recover. Could have been a little miscommunication between Winuti and Powell. So first and 10 for the Hawks on the Brockton 40. Eye formation again. Straight drop back. Looking, firing, he has a receiver leading him downfield. And just overthrown. That was intended for number six for Carlos Crosetti. Trying to go for the home run ball right there in this third offensive possession here. A 
Approaching three minutes left in this first quarter. And as you can see, the Hawks have answered back and are in position right now to strike again. Brockton defense has to come up big. Gilbert gives the big running back. And again, a five. Kelcourse was the ball carrier. Third and five from the Brockton, 35. Brockton staying with that 4-3 look. And it inside all oh, little left tackle play. Oh, not, oh, still on his feet. Heads up play by number 32. Number 32, Cole Jetty. Jetty was able to keep his balance. Never really fell down, spun up, and was able to keep on going. That resulted in a Severian first down. First down Hawks, now marked at the Brockton 26. Gilbert again, straight drop back, looks right, fires, complete. That catch was by Jonathan Montero. Montero on the reception. Number six, Malachi McLean. McLean on the tackle for the boxers. Under two minutes left in the first quarter. High formation again, Gilbert looking over that Brockton defense. Here on first and 10. Look, pass caught by Montero, spins off one, trying to take the corner, pylon, and he is in for the touchdown. Montero with 113 left in this first quarter has given the Hawks faithful right now a 13 to six lead. Waddleton setting up for the point after try. Here's a snap, and on a fake, running out to the flats, and it is, oh, broken up, great play by Brockton's number 20. What a great play by Johnson. Was incomplete, 113 remaining in the quarter. So right now we stand, 13 to six, great defensive play by the boxers. Let's take a look at that great defensive play by Brockton. And you can see there Malachi Johnson coming out of nowhere to break up that two-point conversion. You know what, I wish the sun would come out right now. All right, so now they change it up a little bit. They'll go, the Hawks will go heavy on the other side of the kickoff. So they get three guys to the left of, the right of Wallington. And will have the other guys to his left. All six of them. Here's his kick, high end over end kick, takes bounced. Oh, that could be touched back. Oh, he's in trouble. Trying to get out of trouble. Oh, he's trying to make something out of nothing. Still on his feet. What a great, great pursuit by the Hawks defense. Took a crazy bounce. And Victor couldn't get nowhere to go. That 
Lanes disappeared. Let's go look at that again on the kickoff. The other thing we got to remember is that ball was definitely, Mike the Postman Simmons made a great, great point. That ball was on its way to go out of bounds. He had no choice. He had to make a play. All right, so here we go. Timeout, timeout, Severian. Timeout, Severian. Oh, we're in B roll, that's all right. Did, 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 did Victor lose the ball? He fumbled the ball? Huh? Yeah. All right, it looks like we actually had a turnover and then I apologize. I I we lost it at the at the four. So here's another look at the Hawks offense as special teams got the ball back for him. On the keeper, trying to cut in, cutting the corner. He's in for the touchdown. Gilbert on the keeper. Touchdown, Nineteen to six as of right now. Waddleton for the point after try. There's a snap, the kick is up and it is good, we match up field. Your score. Seconds remaining in the quarter. Zavarian 20, Rockton 6. There you go, 20 nothing Hawks. Well, let's take another look. Uh, 20 to six, Hawks, excuse me. Let's take another look at that Gilbright keeper uh, for that last touchdown. Went off tackle, followed his blockers and walked right in. All right, same formation for the Hawks. And Waddleton stands up, sets up for the kickoff. I apologize. We're almost at the freezing point here in the game as far as temperature goes. Here's his kick. Another kick taken at their own 15. Still on his feet. And tackle is at his own 30. And we get to see the Brockton offense again. And that was Caster, Darren Caster coming off the injured list. So at 50 seconds left, let's see how the Brockton offense answers. Looks like Powell's back there with Manuti. Two slots, you put a man in motion, Montero. One already back to fast. Hits Montero in the flats. Montero trying to cut up, but great pursuit. And team tackling by the Hawks. But he did pick up three. That pass is complete to number four, Cameron Montero. He was 
hit first by Javarian number 15, Charlie Camella. Camella initially starting that defensive Second stop. Defensive line tonight for the Hawks. We have number 32, Cole Jetty. Number 56, Cole Canty. And I think that's Jack gonna do it. And number so after and one quarter, four. your score, the Severian Hawks 20, the Brockton Boxers six. That's the end of the we'll be four. right back. I agree. All right, everybody, welcome back. Here we go on second and about six. One only rolls on the option, gets to the pile. Pile trying to cut in, gets by one defender, but not before a host. He might have got a yard. Great angle tackling by the Hawks. Good pursuit. Bring up third and about five. Just underway here in the second quarter. Third down and five. Wanuri with Powell again. He looks over that Severian defense. Straight drop back, look, rolls left, fires. And he overthrows Montero. A little miscommunication. So Brockton will come out with the punting unit. And Wanudi getting ready to do all the punting. Getting ready to punt, excuse me. Oh, he's gonna try to keep it. Oh, what a great play, he's down the sideline, that's a 50, all the way down. Heads up play by Wanuti, that results in a Brockton first down. Folks, we gotta look at that again. That puts the boxers at the Severian 40. Trying to get themselves back into this game. Powell again. With Manuti in the backfield out of the pistol. They, they give to Montero, trying to cut around the corner. He runs into a host. Of oh, Hawks tacklers never really got a chance to get to the outside. He Montero with the carry. He was tackled by Camella and Busha. Bring up second and ten. Brockton is going away with the no huddle. Second 
second down, 10. This time they go with three receivers high, two slots and a receiver. Man in motion, rolls left as Winuti. He's going to try to keep it. He is trying to take the corner, trying to drive forward and taken out of bounds right around. I'm going to call that the 36 here on third down. Winuti run out of bounds by number three, Caleb Bell. Bell on the tackle for the Hawks. Approaching nine minutes left in the first half. Brockton trying to get some momentum back like they had in the first couple minutes in this first quarter. They give to Powell. And he didn't get much there. That ball is carried by number 15, Mauricio Powell. Powell was met right at the line of scrimmage. Bring up fourth and about seven at the Severian 37. Here on fourth down. Two slots, two wideouts on each side. Alvo Nudi here in fourth in about seven minute motion, Montero. On a reverse, going the other side. It is caught by Powell. Oh, a little trickery play. We got to look at that again. What a great job, but they're going to call him down short of the first down, even though he wasn't touched. That's a turnover on down. Nice. You got it in high school ball. Once you're down, you're down. Here in the national national federation rules. So that being said, nice try by Brockton. Break first and ten for the Hawks at their own 31. Brockton needs to come up with a big off big defensive stop here. It looks like the Hawks are going to go with. Number four, Oates, and the big running back, Cole Jetty, as the fullback. His little offset eye. Jetty in motion. They give the Jetty the motion back, driving forward. And a nice open field tackle by Brockton. We'll give you that gentleman's number again. Number, number five for the boxers is Carlos Timas. Bring up second and about seven. All the way up to their own 35. 7.30 left in this first half. Again, I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Mike, the Postman Simmons, and the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV crew here on second down. Second down. They give to the big fullback. To Oates, spins, rolls. Michael Oates with the carry. And they'll mark him down for a first down. Right at his own, going to make it around his own 42. Ball marked right at midfield. Seven minutes left in this first half. Brockton has switched to a three-man front. Gilbert again. On the center. They fake, looking. He might keep it, he sees real estate. Using his speed, gets by one defender. Two, still on his feet. Finally tackled all the way down to the Brockton 31. Saw the real estate, saw the open lane and used his God-given speed. That's a first down for the Hawks. 
Ball marked all the way down to the Brockton 31. Little offset eye again for the Hawks. On an inside counter. Jetty, with that Jetty gain of about four. Pace on the tackle for the boxers. Bring up second and about three, possibly two, two and a half. This time looks like they're going back to the I formation here on second down. Five minutes left in the first half. Fake, looking, firing across, here's a receiver. Caught, touchdown. Down number six, Carlos Rossetti. Rossetti. That was a 24 yard touchdown pass from Gilbert. So from 24 yards out, the Hawks have added their lead 26 to six. Oliver Waddleton in to kick. Number 15, Charlie Camella will hold. Here's the point after try. And that ball is up and it is that good. good. We march Four up minutes, field. Your score, 27-6, Hawks. You know what, let's look at that other pass again by Gilbert, it was a nice pass. The Hawk cut will be open during halftime for any of your concession needs, but stick around for the Brockton High School Marching Band halftime show. All right, here we go, Fall Brockton. Trying to get some of the momentum back. Waddleton getting ready to set up. They're gonna go with that offset formation on special teams. There's the kick, little end over kick taken at their own 20. And number seven. Silver on the return for the boxers. He's tackled out of bounds by number two, Anthony Busa. First and 10 for the boxers at their own 31. 4.45 left in this first half. And here comes Mr. Winuti, trying to spark that Brockton offense. Now, by himself, as you can see, out of the shotgun. He's gonna keep it, he sees an open seam, takes the corner, drives forward, and he is very close to a Brockton first down. Let's see where they mark it. Oh, the marking is short. Camilla and Corsetti were in there with Joey Kelcourt on that tackle. Second down and a Fourth and fifth. 4.15 and running. Second and one.
Straight drop back, looks, thinking about firing. He's in trouble, rolling on his right. Needs to get a yard, thinking about firing. Throws it, incomplete. Lots of pressure there from 89, Matt DeFeo. DeFeo was coming, it comes third and one. Pass was incomplete, that will make third down and a yard for the boxers. All right, let's see what the boxers do here on third down. Winotti, all he has to do is get the corner, he dives in and he is enough as he ticks to corner all the way up to his own 45 and a, and a Brockton first down. Ball marked all the way up to their 45. Approaching three minutes left in this first half. Wanuti again in the gun, looks, fires to the flats, complete. Montero trying to take the corner. Stiff arms, one tackle. He's open, oh, and a saving a possible touchdown is number six for Severian. Let's, let's look at that again. What a nice set up there by the boxers. One Udi. He's going to keep it, and he's tripped up. Coming on the blitz. So Getty tripped up quarterback Jason One Udi for a loss. Bring up second down. Here on second and 12. Wanuti straight drop back, looks, thinking about firing. He sees the open seam, using his guts, he stopped himself, still on his feet, spinning, and he could have enough for another Brockton first down. Ball marked all the way up to the Hawks, 30 now. With 140 left and running. Nudie again. This drive, he has been in the pistol. Excuse me, in the shotgun. Straight drop back looking, rolls left. Sees trouble, thinking about firing, cuts around the corner, holds on to the ball, he lost the ball, picked up. He could score. Touchdown, no flags, touchdown Hawks. Caleb Bell with a minute left. Picks up the fumble. And Severian adds to their lead here in the first half.
That touchdown was scored by number three, Caleb Bell. Waddleton for the point after try. Ollie Waddleton is in to attempt the extra point. There's a snap kick, and it is good. We Let's match up good. field. Your score, Severian 34, 54, Brockton 6. In the half, Severian 34, Brockton 6. Please stick around at halftime to enjoy the Brockton High School Marching Band 2021 show. And how about a hand tonight for our cheerleaders down on the track? All right, so here we go. 54 seconds officially left here in the first half. All over Waddleton will kick. Back to the boxers are number three, Michael Victor, and number 20, Malachi Johnson. Here's the kickoff. What booming end over end kick. Taken at their own 23, up the sideline, pushed out of bounds at his own 26. Clayton Silva was pushed out of bounds by Anthony Busa. Looks like they're gonna mark that at the 27. First and 10 for the boxers, 51 seconds officially left in this first half. All right, they call the boxers. Trying to end this first half on a good note. Wanuti keeping it on the option. Cutting up field, still on his feet, and he drives forward about eight yards. Wanuti with the quarterback keeper. They mark the ball all the way up to his 35. This time they go no huddle. He picked up seven yards. It would be second down and three. Straight drop back, Winuti thinking about firing complete to Montero right around his own 49 yard line. Carlo Crosetti with the tackle on. Crosetti on the stop for the Hawks. So the official goes over to talk to Peter Colombo. Trying to adjust the clock. Should be nine seconds on. There you go. Dude, I am freezing. Even with my thermals on. All right, here we go. First and ten. Brockton's first time out in this Nine first half. On the clock. Let's see it with the formation the boxes come out with now here offensively. First down for the Brockton Hawks. 
for the boxers. Rolling right, Winuti fires. Complete caught by Montero. They'll be out of bounds and that will end the first half, I think. You know what they're gonna say, there's one second left. Brockton will have one more play. Timeout Brockton. Timeout, timeout boxers. I thought we were at a hockey game for a minute. <laughs> so what, 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 what made your son one, wanting to, wanted to play uh, football? Yes? You guys said no? All right, everybody, welcome back as we come out of this timeout. Second one, a second left in the half. Winuti straight drop back, seals the rush, rolls right, fires it downfield. Let's see who's down there. It is caught by the boxers to end the first half. The boxers end the first half. Montero with the touchdown for Brockton. So let's see if they go for two here. Looks like they're gonna. Unless, no, I'm sorry, it comes a kicker. I thought they were gonna try to go the for two. By number four, Cameron Montero. Here comes the point after try. Number 36 in to attempt the extra point. Ball down, kick is up, and it is good. And that's how the half Next will end. With your score, Brock Hawks 34, Brockton 12. Half, we'll be right back.
Brockton High School Band is under the direction of Andrew Fantuccio. Assistant Director, Susan Goodwin-May. Percussion Instructors, Michael Montega, Jonathan Munro, Daniel Alvey, and Rules St. Louis. Color Guard Instructors, Rebecca Desmond and Jennifer McKenzie. Majorette Instructor, Judy Noon. And halftime dance team instructors, Caitlin Fitzgerald and Lindsey Gomes. Give them a round of applause. All set. Everybody, welcome back. Dominic Damiano, Mike the Postman. Simmons run away in the second half. As the big guy trying to take up field. Oh, what a great return. Big return Jonathan for the Hawks. Montero on the recovery. I think he lost his wind when he fell on the football. He's getting up slow. Good field position for the Hawks. Brockton territory at the 46. Brockton needs to come up big here defensively. They go offset formation again. They toss it to the big back Montero, trying to take the corner, but he's nicely met but not before he picks up two when a host of Brockton defenders takes him down. Probably shooting about 32 degrees, 35 degrees right now here in Westwood. Thirty-seven degrees. Oh, we're gonna get an update. Thirty-four degrees here on the second half kickoff. Second and eight. The market second and seven. I formation now. They give to Montero off the left tackle. Driving forward. That's Joey Keltor. And he's finally brought down right around the Brockton 31. Gilbert on the center, offset eye again. Receiver to each side and a tight end to each. The toss to Jetty. No, excuse me, to Oates. Using the speed, cuts in. Mike Oates, run out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. Looks like they'll mark him around, mark him around the Brockton 16. Again, the first offensive possession in this first half for the Hawks. All I know is I should have set my heat on high on my car. <laughs> it's like eye formation again. Straight drop back. And the pass is incomplete, intended for Montero. Second and 10 for the Hawks at the Brockton 16. They have, two, they have had two big plays to get them where they are here on second and 10 at the Brockton 16. Gilbert, fake, a little end around to the slot back on the other side, coming around, I believe that's Montero. Let's see where they mark the ball. It is Montero, they'll mark him at the Brockton nine. He was hit first by Makai Boston, number 75.
to be third and about three. They have to get to the six. Gilbert, eye formation again. Straight drop back, looks, fires. And nice tackle, nice formation. Looks like they'll mark that at the Brockton four. Great coverage by Brockton. Carroll's reception is good for Zavarian first down. No, I, um, I apologize for that. It is first and goal. At the Brockton four. It's actually the 11. I, I was mistaken there for a minute, and they got it to the Brockton four. Gilbert. Straight drop back. Looks our first penalty. Actually, I think that's our first, no, a second penalty of the game. False start. We'll replay first down. Ball we marked on the nine. All right, here we go. Straight drop back for Gilbert. Looks, fires, spins, and makes a move on the defender. Crosetti, touchdown, Hawks. At the 8.33 mark. And as Severian sets up for the point after try. Oliver Waddleton will attempt the extra point. Ball down, kick is up. And it's good. That kick is good. We march up field. Brock, excuse me, Hawks 41, Brockton 13. 8.33 left in this third quarter. I want to give a big shout out to the Brockton High School Marching Band on a very impressive um, halftime show considering it's 34 degrees outside. Good job to that crew. And the Brockton High School cheerleaders bearing the temperatures just like the football players are. Johnson and Victor back for Brockton. Here's a kick by Wondleton. It's an onside kick. Loose. Let's see who got the ball. They're going to say it was recovered by Severian. An onside kick. And you're up 41 to 13. I guess the uh, some things have changed since I coached high school football. That onside kick was recovered by the Hawks. Now it's official as the refs got together and confirmed what they saw and caught Brockton leading the wrong way, expecting a regular kickoff. So now. Severian looks like they're going, they're going to go into the sh into their shotgun. A keeper trying to get the outside, now cutting in on the keeper's Gilbert. Gilbert. Gain a lot of shake and bake and dancing. Picks up five. Bring up second and five from the Brockton 
44. The big rock that makes a couple changes. They are gonna go back to their version of the pistol. They have, looks like that's Oates in the backfield with Gilbert out of the pistol. Straight drop back, looks, fires across, complete. And diving forward, and that's good enough for a Hawks first down. Camella on the reception for the Hawks. First and 10 at the Brockton 37. Oates First back the there with Gilbert. Straight drop back. Looks like he's gonna keep it. Fires downfield, wide open. Jake Gilbert completes to number two, Anthony Bisa. Touchdown, Hawks. Touchdown, Hawks. Blown coverage by the boxers. Seven minutes left in the third. This is B-roll, right? Yeah. That's bullshit. You don't want to have to kick one up by 31 points. Here we go for the point after try. You have a lot of editing to do. <laughs> All right, here's a snap. Ball down, kick is up, it is good. Seven minutes Good. left, 48, 13 48 Hawks. For the Hawks. 13 for the Boxers. Johnson and Victor will be back to receive for Brockton. And let's see if they try another onside kick up by 31. But now more than that now. But at the time it was 31. Oh, uh, they're up by 38, 37, 38. Excuse me, 30, up by 35, I apologize. Taken at their own 15. Trying to take the outside corner, spinning around and tackled. And Brockton will take over at their own, looks like their own 20 yard line. Excuse me, they were actually up. Now they're up by 35. All right, so here we go. Here's an, another look at the Brockton offense. On the keep is Powell. He cuts back in. He sees the seam. Uh, but not before he picks up a good, strong six yards. Carlo Crosetti with the tackle there. Crosetti on the stop for the Hawks. Bring up second and about four. Wanuti. Looks like Powell's back that back. Fake to Powell, throws out the flats, complete. 
Taking the corner, and it looks like that was Mr. Johnson. Looks like he has enough for another Brockton first down, all the way up to their own 33. With the tackle there, pushing number 10, Christensen Paul, out of bounds. Excuse me, that was Paul on the reception. Got my numbers crossed. Nudie again, this time he sets up Paul on the right side out of the pistol. Two slots, two receivers in this spread formation. Approaching 525 left in the third, third quarter. They give to Powell, driving forward, nice heads up run, nice hard run. Picks up about a strong three. Looks like they're gonna give him four, second and six. Second down and six. Ball marked at the Brockton 35 yard line. Now we're already on the keeper trying to take the corner using the speed. Oh, uh, we got a helmet to helmet. Let's see if he can get up. Got a personal foul on the Hawks. There's a flag down on the field. Oh, on a horse collar. That penalty is against Zavarian. So they'll mark that off all the way up to the Severian uh, 44 yard line. First and 10 for the boxers, approaching four minutes left in the third period, third quarter, excuse me. That was a 15 yarder against the Hawks. Wanuti again with Powell. Again, two slots, two receivers on each side of them. Puts a man in motion away. Powell thrown out to the flats. Complete taking the corner. Still on his feet. And finally taken out. We're going to mark that, I think, at the Hawks' 40-yard line. Should bring up second and about six for the boxers. Second down and six. Brockton should have a strong team next year. A lot of these young men are coming back. Oh, the end around to Montero coming the other way. He cuts in, still on his feet. Flag comes in, could have a face mask. Could have a face mask on the Hawks. Let's see what we got. Jonathan Mould in there for the tackle. Oh, gonna holding against the boxers on a nice little end around play. All right, so I, I guess the line of scrimmage was supposed to be the 32. They marked off 10. Looks like they almost marked off 11. Looks like they almost marked off 11 yards. All right, second and ten, second and six. Six should be second and seven. Wanuri keeps it. Uses, trying to take the corner, cuts in, trying to go around the side. Might have got a yard. Bring up third down.
All right, so here we go. Under a minute left in this third quarter, as you can see the score on the screen. 48-13 Hawks. Straight drop back. What are we thinking, Montero? Now he's going to use his speed, take the corner, first down and more, and he's finally out of bounds at the Hawks. 32-yard line. Looks like he went out at the 30, but I'm on this side of the field. The official's on the other side. Brockton trying to get themselves back on the scoreboard. Straight draw back, looking, firing down the field. He has a receiver, held as a flag. There's a flag down inside the That pass line. interference, I believe it's against Severian. Pass interference against the Hawks. The penalty is against the Varian. But that's the end of the third quarter with your score. Severian 48, Brockton 13. We'll see where they mark this ball and we'll be right back. Quarter. I'm gonna send you a Gmail file of uh, the commercial you can throw in here. It's like 30 seconds, it's a PSA I made up. Now that Peter called me and I wasn't, I wasn't really focusing on, on some of the other stuff, I mean, I saw it, but I was more like, oh no, I'm up here. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, wait a minute. We got a couple finals coming in. Bridgewater Raynham has come from behind to beat Boston College High School. Twenty-four to twenty. All right, so here we go. First and ten after they marked off the penalty. As we get ready to start the fourth quarter. From the 17, here we go. We know we got Powell in the backfield out of the pistol. Two slots, two receivers on each side of them. They give to Powell off the left tackle. Still on his feet turning and driving forward. He could possibly just be short of a first down. We'll see where they mark it. And he is. We have second and one. All right, so here we go. Second and one from the Severian nine. Second and two, excuse me. On the keeper, Winuti trying to cut in, and he's tossed on. Let's see where they mark it. Anthony Busa with the tackle there on quarterback Jason Winuti. He looks like he'll just be short. And bring up third and one. A booming, warm 34 degrees here in Westwood as I almost lost my cameraman. All 
All right, Powell. Same formation. Back there with Winuti out of the pistol. Long count. He drives forward, and that should be enough for a Brockton first down. They'll bring up first and goal from the Severian seven. First and goal from the seven yard line. All right, first and seven, first and goal from the Severian seven. Running clock because of the score. Bonuti straight drop back, looks left, rolls right, tries to break some trouble, but he's tackled all the way down to his own, yes, back goal. down to his 12th. With the sack on Jason Winodi. I just hope the weather's warmer in the afternoon for the Brockton soccer game. <laughs> Whew. Right? Now second and goal from their 12 after that sack by Severian. Away is Powell. On a slip screen in the middle of Montero. Still on his feet, driving forward, spinning, and finally tackled all the way down to the three. Cam Montero. Tackled there by number 62, Christian Gurnan. Gurnan on the stop for the Hawks. Third down and goal now from the four yard line. Third and goal. Excuse me, I thought that was thought that was fourth. Now they split it up. As you can see, the receivers in the bottom half of your screen. Wanuti looks over that Severian defense. Straight drop back, looks. He sees the rush, avoids one, fires incomplete. That pass went out of bounds. It will be fourth down now for the Boxer. Oh, excuse me. Fourth and goal coming up. Here's a man of motion. They're looking out to the flats. Touchdown! Touchdown, number 15. Touchdown, Brockton. Powell on the reception from four yards out. All right, so they're gonna go for two. Yeah, for the point after try. We gotta look at that play again. What a nice play action by Brockton. Hitting Powell right there in the, in the flats, in the far end zone. The box is going for two.
to fake a little end around, try and take the corner, cut in, and he is in for the two points. The Brockton. That's good, scored by number 10, Christensen Paul. Paul on the little end around. 40 remaining in the game. Bavarian 48, Brockton 21. 48-21, as you can see. Brockton not giving up. All right, so here we go. You get ready for a kickoff. You know what? I wonder if we'll see a Brockton onside kick. I don't think that went 10 yards. <coughs> we'll see where they mark it. I think they're going to say it did. That ball was recovered by number two, Anthony Busa. All right, so here come the, the, the second offensive team for Severian. On a pitch, trying to make it to the outside, cutting in. That was number 21, Gotson. Quarterback now in is Santos, Jake Santos, number 10 for the Hawks. That ball is carried by number 21, Godson Afonagoro. Bring it down now for the Hawks. Second and seven. Agozo was the ball carrier for the Hawks. Santos. Another carry by Godson Agonosoro. Agonosoro on the was the ball carry brings up third and about two. Third down now, and two yards. I formation again. Off it goes so again. Afonagoro with the first down for the Hawks. We're under a minute left to play in the game. Just under a minute left. The boxers Football season will continue. We'll find out later during the week who that will be for Brockton. And they'll take a knee. And Jake Santos takes a knee. And that'll pretty much do it. That'll wrap it up. Your final score, final score Severian Brothers 48, Brockton, Brockton 21. 21. For Mike the Postman Simmons, I'm Dominic Damiano and the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV crew.
We will catch you next time, everyone. Have a fantastic weekend.